should tickling be used to teach children about consent? Join the debate this Friday with Good Morning Britain Now on ITV. Good Morning Britain is Boris on the brink. Theresa May under increased pressure to sack her foreign secretary after Iranian state TV claims his comments on the plight of a British Iranian woman jailed for spying confirmed her guilt. New developments in the Hollywood sex scandal. Ellen DeGeneres' wife, Portia de Rossi, accuses Steven Seagal of sexual misconduct during a film audition. The TV ad John Lewis hopes will be a monster Christmas hit. You'll be able to watch it here first, just before eight. And it was a star-studded affair at last night's ITV gala at the London Palladium. We'll have all the news and gossip from our very own gala girls. Friday, 10th of November, 2017. Live from ITV Studios in London. This is Good Morning Britain with Ben Shepherd and Kate Garraway. Hello there, good morning. Just after six o'clock, welcome to the programme. Very nearly wasn't all of us here this morning, was it, Kate Garraway? <laughs> My goodness, you probably wouldn't say anything. Very, very nearly. What happened, Charlotte? Well, we had a bit of a night out last night. All I'm saying is some of us got here on time this morning. Some of us didn't. Yeah. What, I what blame the taxi driver that picked me up. I don't think he rammed on the door loudly enough. It's always the taxi driver stopping someone not else waking you up. Is... I know. I did oversleep by nearly two hours. <laughs> it's a good night, though, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. bad. It was a good the night. The good news is it, it went on a little like longer have. than I thought. Uh, but the good news is I still had last night's makeup on this morning, so it's very quick in the makeup chair. You look a lot better when you came in than you usually do. <laughs> uh, Alex is going to be bringing us the weather very shortly, of course. Tomorrow, though, as everybody I'm sure is aware, is Armistice Day. And then, of course, we have Remembrance Sunday on Sunday. Yes, but before that, let's bring you some images of how the nation is marking this weekend, along with Colour Sergeant Colin Simpson, lead bagpiper of the Highlanders' 4th Battalion, the Royal Regiment of Scotland, who will be playing at the Cenotaph this Sunday. <laughs> Wow. There you Absolutely go. Absolutely fantastic. Now, if Colour Sergeant Colin Simpson had been outside my house this morning, <laughs> it would have been a very, very different thing. That is Thank what you, you needed. That is it? what I needed. Thank you very much, sir. Absolutely, Absolutely spectacular. Yeah, he's going to be playing at the centre half on Sunday. Yeah. Uh, you could have woken the whole of North London up if you'd been outside in your Ooh. street, if only he had. Good work. Great stuff. Thank uh, you. Alex, you yeah. got some weather for us? Yeah, that knocked the Prosecco out of me. <laughs> 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 uh, actually, uh, this weekend, of course, it's an important weekend, and the weather will be playing ball, particularly on Remembrance Sunday. It's going to be a pretty fine but chilly day. Some decent, awesome sunshine to look forward to. However, today we've got a band of rain clearing the southeast. Behind it, we will see a real mixture of sunshine and showers across the bulk of the UK and Northern Ireland. I'll have all these details in around 20 minutes. Thanks, Alex. So, our main news this morning, Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson is facing further pressure to resign after Iranian state TV claimed that remarks he made about an imprisoned British Iranian woman confirm her guilt of spying. Mr Johnson's comments have led to further charges being filed against Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe, prompting fears her five-year sentence could be doubled. Our chief correspondent Richard Gaysford is at Downing Street for us this morning. Morning, Richard. So undoubtedly the heat is on Theresa May to sort out Boris Johnson. Yeah, in a really impossible position, Ben, for 